Okay. Well, not going to show my name, but I got uh, a bronze medal. One medal for instrumental solo inspirational from the VA. It was like 25,000 people that competed. And out of all those in my category, I won third place in the nation with a piano song, Oh How I Love Jesus. And this is the bronze medal. National Veterans Creative Arts Competition. Third place. That's a prettier bronze than the one I got in 2010. It was the only two times I ever competed. 2010 and this year. Now they changed the rules. I'm not allowed to uh, go this year. Um, they gave me the option of going. In... 2010, they asked me if I wanted to go, and I said, sure. Didn't, miss, wouldn't, didn't want to miss that for the world. That was an amazing experience, performing in front of almost 3,000 people and uh, seeing it on PBS television every now and then, portions of it here and there, and performing with them. I didn't do any solo stuff, but I performed with the choral group, 120 of us. And uh, this year, it's going to be in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, 2009 it was it was here in San Antonio and uh, it was really strange right when I got back it was either just when I got back or just before that is when all the hell started breaking loose on me from the idiots that ended up murdering my dad and and uh, trying to have me murdered and I still have to kind of stay under the radar you don't see my face much and when you do you know it's i don't say it's me like the preaching or whatever it's you know it's just ridiculous but anyways um i submitted three songs um oh how i love jesus on the piano instrumental and i submitted another song um it was uh called Looking for a Change, and it was, and then there was a third song. Um, on the guitar called Hero, which actually took third place in 2010 and didn't even place this year at Nationals. Thought for sure it would, but it didn't. And uh, competition's getting really stiff. There's a lot of professional musicians and professional singers there. You know, when I was there in 2010, the whole group of the Constellations was there, and several members of the Mormon Tabernacle Choir were there. And it was just, I felt small on that stage compared, you know, next to these guys and these women and men that have performed in the Kennedy Center and all these places around, you know. And by this time, you know, I'd already done tours in Europe and all that stuff, so they kind of counted me as one of themselves, you know. A musician, you know, someone who has performed. There was a guy that's written music. He was a piano player and singer and songwriter and a songwriter mainly that he he wrote songs for Michael Jackson. And uh, he was there, and we we were taking turns bantering back and forth on the on the big grand piano in the hotel until about two in the morning one night. It was just amazing. The guy was awesome. And there's four or five people sitting around, and they just we're loving to hear both of us play, you know, and I, I thought, man, here I am with all these great people and I'm nobody. I'm nobody. Wow. It was quite a privilege. I didn't get to go this year. And I think probably because of some of the same people were there, uh, this year that some of the same people were in charge as were in charge in 2010 when they lost three of my four bags, and then the fourth bag that did make it to me was half empty. <laughs> All my, you know, stuff that I carried with me, medical records, um, 
a lot of things that they gave me there at the event. And I was on my way out the door, walking to the post office. You know, and people from the VA said, oh, hey, we'll use our inter-office mail and send it to you. Okay, thank you. Put four bags on the table, had a witness. I took photographs with camera and phone of all four bags, and they lost three of them. I think they got pilfered through before they got sent. And uh, so, long story short, it was, you know, it was a great experience up until the very last day when we left and I flew back. It just soured me on it for eight years and then come to find out some of the same people that are running it are still there. As much as they promised, oh, no, no, go ahead and enter, go ahead and enter. Well, you know, I didn't get to go to Nationals to the... Well, I I got to Nationals, and I placed third at Nationals. But I didn't get to go perform in the Creative Arts Festival that they're going to have. And that's going to be in October. So just keep watching for that. That's that's an amazing thing. And they got the same guys uh, creating the music for it and the stage show. And they got the same MC, I think, uh, Michael Peterson, the country singer. And he did a, a nice workshop for us um, one day while we were there. That was really nice. And then we sang karaoke with him <laughs> on the last night. Oh, man, it was crazy. We we just had a lot of fun. And uh, the food was unbelievable. And I guarantee you the VA spent more than probably $25 million on that. And uh, if anybody wants to say something negative about it, them spending that much money on it. Um, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, and I have to say that to myself because in 2010 I saw how much they spent and I kept shaking my head saying, that's too much money. Too much money. You know, $25 million? No. It's just too much money. But when you realize what it is, what it stands for, what good it does in the community as well as for the veterans that are participating. You know, hey, this is something that we military veterans really need is the National Veterans Creative Arts Competition and Festival. So don't say anything negative about it. You know, and I'm I'm slapping myself for saying something, you know, back in 2010. I said, it's just too much money. Well, it's not. It's not enough even. So, and I think actually they cut the amount of money that they're spending on it down. But anyway, this is a long version. It's eight minutes. I'm going to cut it. Just diatribe. Sorry.